My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. I'm coming to you from my art studio to talk to artists, uh, musicians, uh, any of the creative type. Uh, painters. I'm a painter, so I talk about that a lot. <laughs> okay, so this one's uh, for you who are more, uh, uh, I guess, business savvy. You know, more and more. You guys are into marketing. You guys are you guys are a step ahead of many other artists who. Uh, Perhaps don't understand yet, that yet, or don't understand that they need to do that a lot, <laughs> or that uh, maybe they're, they're just not doing it because they got someone else doing it, whatever, a spouse or or, or, or one of those mythical agents. Uh, this one's about ROI. If you are concerned with with ROI in return on investment uh, of any task that you do, let's say you're you're doing social media, right, or or, or videos like this, like me, or whatever. Uh, or, or gallery exhibits, and you're like, oh, what am I going to get back? Really, that's, that's, the, that's really what it comes down to. What am I getting back? And it's this, how, how much percentage, right? The, the return on investment, the ROI. Uh, I wouldn't be concerned with that. That's, uh, it's a killer in the beginning. I think that's, that's those uh, met, metrics, I guess. I think it's more for, 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 when you're more advanced, and then you can actually read them, and then you can tweak. Uh, when you're starting out, or, or, or not necessarily starting out as an artist, but starting out from a platform or whatever you're doing, whether you're doing Facebook or you're, you're doing the gallery circuits or the, the, the art fair circuits and all of that, I personally wouldn't be concerned with that. It, it stops you. You don't want to be concerned with that in the beginning. What you want to do is just, like I mentioned in another video, just go all in. You, you, you want to do, uh, I refer to it as stupid action. Yes, uh, everybody's trying to look for that right formula. You know, give it to me. Give me the right formula. Uh, you, might not, you might not know this. People, might, <laughs> people tend to hide this. I don't know why. Or they kind of throw it under the rug. I don't think there is one. And I think that if there is one, it's because you found something that's working for you and you're tweaking it as you go. What you need first is to be just just pound, you know, just go. Don't don't be concerned with any of that. With, with, for example, there's so many books about how to use uh, Facebook correctly. There's so many books about how to use Twitter correctly. There's so much of that happening that what happens is that many of us get overwhelmed with so much information and, and we get sucked. It, I know because it happened to me. We get sucked into what is the right way of doing it. And that, I mean, Jesus Christ, you know, that's kind of, that's, <laughs> that's going to, it's going to stop you. You have no idea how bad it stops you from moving forward. It stopped me so horribly because, because all I was doing was sucking in information. And it happens, you don't even know how it happens, it just happens. You're, all of a sudden you're watching YouTube's, you're, you're not, don't worry about this one, this one's cool. But, but you're watching about what, how to do it the right way and this and that. Before you know it, you have all this information, you get so overwhelmed that you don't move forward in action. See, the, the, the main agent of getting anywhere or anything done, it's action. It's not, you don't, you, it's not because you thought about it or because you planned correctly that's that's uh, a lot of people talk about that, but that's not true. The main thing is action. So don't worry about a return on investment. Don't worry about oh, I send out so many letters and I didn't get anything back, or I only get I only got one call back. Don't worry about it. Keep doing it. Whatever you're doing, figure it out later. It's uh, if nobody knows you or very few people know you, their their return on investment is 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 uh, it's ludicrous. You know, you you don't have to worry about that first. What you, have to, what you have to do is constantly get your message out. Show people your paintings or whatever it is that you do. Play the local gigs constantly, constantly, till you start getting, you start getting uh, attraction, you know? You start getting that momentum, and then you're going to start analyzing return on investment. Even if you start analyzing return on investment, don't get stuck on it. Because, because metrics and all of that is a very fast way to stop people. People talk about that, like Gary Vanderchuk or, or, or you know, other, other people that, that, that talk about this kind of stuff. They talk about those things. The reason why they do it is because I believe it's because they're moving millions. You know, they're moving big numbers. 
So, so yes, a return on investment would be a, would be a significant difference if you between getting I don't know five million dollars and five point you know five million dollars you know that extra five hundred thousand or whatever because they're moving big numbers. When you're starting out, you might not be moving big numbers, probably not. So don't worry about that first. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. Thank you so much for watching.